general is always gonna be number one because that's the that's the thing that opened up the door for all those those things. You know that there wouldn't be any NBA uh, deals without the music, and there you know there wouldn't be no any clothing deals either because I'm not in de- I'm not a, a designer. You know, it's just really part of the culture, right? And all the things that I'm involved with are really part of the things that I do. Like I look at music and and hip hop is part of life, everyday life. You know, you wake up in the morning, you put your music on, you take a shower, you turn on sports channel, you know, it's all part of it. You get dressed and, you know, it's all part of your expression. But I'm not a designer by trade, so there wouldn't be any clothing companies, you know. And um, just by virtue of the numbers of uh, minorities, owners I know if you had to do something really special to be an owner right <laughs> so I mean you have to be the greatest black basketball player ever you have to have sold the a, a network channel for a billion dollars or you know you had to be some type of entertainer I mean, those are the guys that's so there wouldn't be any basketball uh, ownership without the music and it's like at this point you know with all those other things, I don't, I clearly don't uh, rap for the money, right? Because it's probably at, at this point the thing that earns me the least amount of money. You know, so it's really just, it's all full of love at this point. I made a song called You Gotta Live With Regret, Regrets. So I was already uh, aware of that, that mentality. I mean, on my first album, um, it was, it's been something that I've had since you know, I was a child. I think every move made, like if we're, we're going to compare it to chess, I think every move made um, is to be learned from, whether it was a good or a bad move. And I, I think it all sets, your, sets you on a path. So in order for me to take back any of those moves, I would, I would have to be unhappy with where I am now. And where I am now is I couldn't even imagine in my wildest dreams that I would be here. So for me to take any of those moves back would be affecting the natural course of where I am now. So, and I, I wouldn't rather, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, I mean, of course there are things in life that you say I could have done differently, but knowing that and being aware of that, um, for me, it's helped me. So for every, every you know, play that I've, you know, every chess move that I made, I was like, ah, oh, he's going to do that. It's like, you know, it, it was followed up because I learned from that one. Okay, now I have to change my strategy because, you know, I moved that there. He's going to move there. Now I have to move this over here. You know, so at the end of the game, I, you know, I believe, you know, I, I trapped the queen in the corner, you know, to use a great analogy. And, you know, I have the king in my side. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with where I am. For most, that meant to most to me and always, you know, coming up, I always believed in um, it, the way you live your life, you affect the outcome of your life, you know, and calm and everything. Um, so I just will want to be remembered as a very honest and straight up guy. You know, I'm pretty much a mirror. You know, if, if someone's cool with me, I'm, I'm, you know, you get, you like energies attract, right? You give off um, energy, you get that energy back. So... Just a person that was of the utmost integrity, you know, honest, um, very uh, hardworking, and um, someone who really cared about the culture. Because at the end of the day, I mean, that's that's what I push. That's what I'm pushing everyone for. Because this this thing right here, this music thing, is a, a, um, a thing that I don't think everyone figured into the equation. Right, because you know you have projects and you have, you know, certain people sectioned off in certain areas, and you have better schools here and worse schools here, and you know this whole thing was like a chessboard again. This whole thing was set out a certain way, and then rap music came, and it turned everything around. It it just threw every equation that everyone, uh, every equation that was factored and and factored in already. It just threw that thing for a loop. Um, so I have a responsibility to the culture as well. So uh, 
everything that I do in every room that I walk in, I walk in representing hip hop. You know, I don't I don't try to hide that or try to, you know, talk different or you know, or or hide the fact that's where I came from, you know. You hip hop guy, you're different. No, I'm not different, you know. Um I mean I'm different as an individual, but a lot of people haven't had conversation with everybody in hip hop. Usually it gets categorized as you guys. All of you guys is this one thing. And that's not true in any field. You know? So when people talk to me and they say things like, you know, you're not like those guys. It's like, that's not true. I 